everyone, it's Alex from Alex's Creative Corner here. This is the very first video in my new um, Wings of Fire mini dragon series, which is like the babies from each tribe. Or like, the, not really the babies, because not all tribes have babies that are mentioned in the Wings of Fire books. So like, just I'm making mini sized dragons, and you can make baby dragons kind of out of these. So in this first tutorial, it's the rain wing. And I'm going to be showing you how to make tamarin. Um, I've made a couple mini dragons. These are my own design. Uh, here they are. They're smaller than my medium dragons. But those are like the prototypes, so they're not as good as this one. So I'll show you what to do. So going with two yellows at a time on the fourth peg from the bottom, two yellows going down twice, and then with double looped yellows go all the way down. And then with double looped um, blues, I'm using the opaque ocean blue on the fourth peg from the bottom. Go with double looped ocean, um, ocean blues all the way down, both sides. And then do two yellows diagonally inwards. Cap that off with a yellow band wrapped around four times. You can do five if you want, it doesn't really matter. Now we're going to make some teeth. For this, I'm going to be using alpha, ba alpha loom bands. They're smaller than the normal rainbow loom bands. I really suggest using them because these mini dragons, it's just better with them. Uh, and yeah. Um, so I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. Um, uh, to make the teeth, since the rain wing have, since the rain wings have those bigger teeth in the front, those fangs. So getting this band, putting it on that peg, twisting it so it's a figure eight, like that, and then I'm gonna get my hoop, my hook, lift this, turn it around, and another figure eight, and I'm gonna. Bring it over. It might break. I'll show you a better way to do it, actually. Um, get this mini loom thing. It comes with all the rainbow loom sets and stuff. So you see this, there's a thing right there and a thing right there. Get your alpha loom band, put it on there, figure eight it, push it down a little bit, grab it again, um, bend around to an eight, put it over. Sorry, I'm gonna start over. It's on there, figure eight it, grab it again, twist it, put it back on both pegs. I'll show you how to do it with a normal band. If you if you're not using the alpha loom band, I'll show you how to do it. So twist it into a figure eight, like that. And so it's like that. Pick it up, twist it, and put it over on those two. And then go down here to lift up the bottom two over. Lift up the bottom two, or the not the bottom two, just the bottom band. And then you're gonna lift it up, get both loops on your hook. Um, but don't do that if you don't have alpha loom bands, just make a cat band. Um, so do, if you're using the alpha loom, do what I just showed you how to do, but don't do it on the hook or on the loom because it can't really stretch that far. You can just do it on this mini loom since it's um, the distance isn't as far. So I'm doing it on here, grabbing the bottom band, lifting it over, and grabbing the bottom band on the other side, lifting it over, and I'm going to. Um, grab each end onto my hook. So here's one little tooth. We're going to slide this onto the, this double loop band facing down. I'm going to make one more really quickly. So on here, figure it, twist it, go over. Grab the bottom two, 
flipped it over. Oh, I made a mistake. I'm gonna try that again. Figure eight, twist, pull over, bottom band, lift over, and then the other bottom band. Flip that. Loop onto my hook. Sorry if I go off out of the frame at all. Um, so here's my other tooth, lifting it off and sliding it on. For the next tooth, I'm just gonna take an off wound band, wrap it around my hook, creating three loops, and slide up this next um, set and slide all three of those alpha band white loops on. And making another cap band with this, lifting it up, sliding that on. Sorry, this takes a while. So there are the teeth done. Now I'm taking two yellow bands across those four, and then the rest of the holding bands, I'm just gonna make them double looped of the ocean blue. So I do it this way because it's, they don't get as twisted and it is like easier for me. They don't hurt my fingers. Might be a tiny bit slower than the other way, just doing the double loops on your fingers, but it's fine. If you wanna do the other way, just do it the other way. Oh, and I made a bit of a mistake. These two, and take off those last ones there. I didn't mean to do that. So here it is right now. We're gonna make the eyes, which are a bit hard, but we'll get through it. So taking your um, eyelid color for tamarind, it's yellow, so wrapping around um, four times. You can take another and do that again, but to make another cap in, but I'm not going to. So, because it just might be too big. So double looping yellow, pulling that on. Um, we have to have one end on our finger while we're making the eye. So since Tamarin is blind, her eyes are a little bit different. Um, so I'm not gonna use the black. If you want your dragon to have black in the eyes, just do that, but I'm not going to. So what I'm gonna do is you can just use a normal color band or blue band, but I'm gonna use this, I don't know if it's turquoise or light blue, but I'm gonna use this alpha loom band. If you're using a normal rainbow loom band, the bigger one, you wanna wrap it around twice, but since this is smaller, I'm just gonna leave it on there. I'm grabbing an alpha loom white. If you're using a normal white from the rainbow loom, wrap it around four times. But for the alpha loom, just wrap it around three times. And then grab the blue band, twist it, and wrap the other end around there. So it's like crossed at the top. And then you can reclaim the eyelid on there. And you can make sure that the eyelid cap band is over the cross, um, where um, it crosses, so you don't see it. We're gonna make one more exactly the same. I'm gonna do it faster because I just explained to you how to do it. So, and slide it over. So here is two eyes. They may look a bit weird, but they're not on the loom yet. I'm gonna take, let me just check my prototype really quickly.
Okay, so I'm going to double loop a yellow, pull all of this on in order. So make sure it's that blue, and then the white, and then the blue, then the yellow, and the yellow, and the blue. Then the white, then the yellow, then the yellow. Um, so here's the eyes. Put two of the ends on this third peg on the side, and then the two other ends onto that peg. Um, pull the two eyes apart. They may look a bit weird. We can adjust them later. So don't worry about that right now. So I'm going to um, get two loops out of the four. So getting two out of the four loops, um, and I'm going to pull them up to this peg. I really hope it doesn't break, and if it does break next time I'm just gonna, oh it didn't break but if it ends up breaking on you or something just use two bands the next time to be safe it didn't break on me but still the eyes look a bit weird um I'll adjust them later you can do the same with yours um yeah don't worry about it right now um, so we're going to start the looming, but don't go ahead because, just don't go ahead. Um, so I'm going to loom the top two, which go diagonally like there, diagonally there. We can loom up the sides once and twice. Same thing on this side, once and twice. The middle, we have to make a little spike that goes there. You can either make it a cap band, which I don't know if I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make it a cap band because I don't want it sticking up too much. So I'm taking one black band. And I'm wrapping around my hook um, four times. I'm going to dig down in here, loom up the top two double loop, or the last two double loop, slide on that black cat band, loom it over. We're going to loom up the next set. And then this, now we're, I'm going to show you how to make some spikes. So with uh, navy blue jelly, um, it's the same way that we made those big teeth. So taking one navy blue jelly, um, figure eight it, twist it, or twist it, pull it over those two pegs, and so you can see it's like that. Lift up the bottom um, loop over, and then the bottom loop over. We can take this off and put the two loops onto our hook. So dig down in here loom this up and slide it on. That's one spike. You're going to need to make a few more. I think you need to make six more for the neck. Um, we might need more uh, later, but I've already made mine in advance. And I'm just going to loom up the middle and be sliding them on. Um, if you don't want to make it this way, and you have some alpha loom bands of your spike color, then you can just make normal spikes like a cat band in a double loop, but use just alpha bands. You can make, with normal rainbow loom bands, a cat band in a double loop, but it's going to look really big 
on this mini dragon design, so it's probably not the best idea. We want them to be we want them to be to scale um, with the design. So now I'm going to show you how to make the little um, horns, and then I'll show you how to make the rough that go behind the horns. So the horn color is um, is black. So I'm taking a uh, black on my hook. Um, make a cap band double loop of black double loop another and double loop a third so you have three double loop blacks and then I'm going to double loop in ocean blue which is my body color and then here's your horn so I'm gonna go in here where we loomed up to Loom this up, slide that horn on. Loom it over. Don't loom anymore. We're gonna make one more for the other side. So, black cap band, double loop a black, double loop another, and double loop a third. And now I'm just going to double loop in ocean blue. Same thing on the other side. Go into here, loom up, slide on, loom over. Now we're gonna make the little frill, or frill or ruff, or whatever they call it, that goes right here. You can either use alpha loom bands, not, you just use one alpha loom band, or you can use you can use one alpha loom band or you can use a double looped normal band. I'm just going to use a normal band. Um, let me see. Uh, for, for I'm just going to use some navy bands. I'm not, I'm not using the jelly navy like the spikes, but I'm just going to use some opaque navy. You don't need too many. Um, just need a fair amount, so I'm going to be double looping them. So, a double looped navy right there in the middle. Here, let me take this off of the bottom and put that on. It was in a bad position. Um, so, double loop navy in the middle, double looping another navy going out diagonally to the side going another double loop diagonally to the other side and then a double loop navy to the middle um, we're just going to cap each of these three ends off with a navy wrapped around five times So I'm going to loom this middle one, then this side one, and then this side one. I'm going to dig down and grab the bottom one, and you don't want to pull too hard or it might break since it's under all that pressure. Um, you might not even want to loom it all the way, you could just get them both on your hook, like, so they're both on your hook, like that, so I took it off of there and just put it on my hook, so you have, like, four loops on your hook, and instead of just taking this, like, ripping it off, gently with another hook, or anything, you could tie that end off, gently take it off, like that. could adjust it and here's one frill um, I'm going to show you how to attach it and I'm going to go back and make another so 
where we loomed up on this horn right here, I'm going to lift up those top two and then this, this holding band, take it off. Um, I'm going to reclaim those two bands that we just took off and then lift up all four that are on that peg and slide on the frill. Reclaim all four loops, lift up the top two, bring back the um, two holding bands onto that peg, and then reclaim that band that's on your hook. So you have that rough attached on there. I'm going to make another one really quickly. I'm not really going to explain it because I just showed you how. Yeah, we're just making it exactly the same with the one double loop down the middle. And then I'm tying off all the ends. Um, and now I'm just going to gently take this off of the loom. Um, so I'm going to adjust it. And I'm going to attach it the same way. So lift up these top two where we loomed up to. Take off the holding bands. Lift up all four loops, slide on the rough or the frill, reclaim all four loops, lift up the top two, grab the holding bands back, put them back on that peg, and then reclaim the two loops on your hook. Now we are just going to loom up the rest of the way. Um, don't go too fast or just like be careful because keep in mind that these are all double looped bands they can snap really easily. And I'm going to tie off all three ends with a random colored band. And a slip knot. So I'm going to gently start to take this off the loom. Um, you have to be very gentle because this is all very tight and it's all double looped. And if this breaks, if any one band breaks, the whole thing is going down. Especially around the face area. Okay, so it may look a little weird. You can adjust it. Um, may not ha have time to completely adjust it in the video. Because um, I still have to show you how to make the legs and then the than the wings but I'm just pretty much adjusting the eyes right now because they're a little out of order sorry if I keep getting out of frame but I'm not doing anything serious the design. I'm only adjusting the eyes to my liking. Um, 
arms. So yeah, my head looks a bit weird. You can adjust the teeth now. Um, gonna pull down on this uh, cat band, and then you have this little spike thing. And yeah, it's all up to you how you adjust it, um, to your liking. I'm gonna adjust it a lot more later, cause right now we gotta make some other of the body parts. <laughs> um, yeah, and you can just tug out the spikes and everything. So sorry if that took me a long time. You could have just skipped ahead if I was taking too long in the video. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start on the legs. So you want to adjust your loom so that it's not in, so now that it's in the rectangular configuration. Um, so now, the legs are pretty simple. Here's the front leg. I'm gonna show you how to make that first. So going with the so going with two ocean blues at a time. Two there, two there. Now taking three at a time. Right there and there. Now we're gonna add some of uh, the yellow spots. Um, so if this is your first leg um, to make, you just want to attach the spots like I'm about to show you. But if it's your second leg, you don't want to slide them on before looming. You just want to slide them on while you're looming in the same spots so that your legs can be so that they can be um, symmetrical. So I'm just sliding it on uh, a, a yellow band, a yellow cap band onto each of these sets. Sliding it on. Now we're gonna make the um, foot. So with a black band, make wrap it around four times, creating a cap band. Double loop the yellow. Reclaim. So that's one toe. You want to make three more. So black cap band. Double loop the yellow. Pull on, reclaim. That's two toes. We just need to make one more. Um, so that's three toes. Take a double looped yellow, pull all three of these toes on. Take an ocean blue, wrap it around three times. Reclaim the yellow that was on your finger. And now I'm going to take another black band, create a cap band, double loop a yellow, pull on that black cap band, reclaim, Another there's another toe, now I'm going to take a double loop, oh sorry, I made that toe wrong, um, it's supposed to be blue instead of yellow. So I'm just remaking the toe exactly the same as the others, except with a blue instead of a yellow. Now I'm going to double loop a blue, an ocean blue, and pull all of these on in order. And reclaim it onto the um, hook. And I'm going to 
place this on to this peg with the thumb facing up. So this little toe with the blue on it facing up. And when you make your second leg and you have these dots not on there and they're only on there when you're looming it, then you want to put this foot on with the, with the um, thumb facing down. You want it facing the opposite way of the uh, spots. So now we're gonna make our two holding bands. So double looped ocean blue there, double looped ocean blue there. Now we're just gonna loom it. And if it's your second leg, you'd slide on a yellow spot there, 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 while you're looming. Sorry if it seems like I'm going really slow. I haven't loomed in a few days. Well, actually, I did, I did loom yesterday. And I made this cool guy. It's, it's, this is for um, the winner of my 300 follower and subscriber raffle. It's their character. Um, so yeah, the raffle is over now. I gotta send them their character. Sorry that I got a little off topic. So I'm just tying off the ends. And I'm taking it off the loom. So here's your front leg. You can adjust the spots tug on them and like pull them to the middle of the set. Um, so you can adjust it. I'm gonna go through um, the yellow double loops in each toe. So I can tug on them, pulling upwards, so that they have a curve on them. And so here's my second front leg. I'm going to go into this um, right here, tug it um, to make like an elbow. So there I have my two front legs. Go ahead, make another one symmetrical. Um, now I'm going to show you how to make the back legs. So I have one back leg already made. So I'm just gonna take, um, so it's almost the same. Um, just follow me with two ocean blues at a time. And then I'm taking three right there. Now I'm gonna attach on the spots, but only do this if it's your first back leg, of course. So these cat bands with four loops of one yellow band. And a cap in there, or not a cap in, a double looped. The um, foot is gonna be a little bit different than the last, so just follow me. A black double loop, a yellow, pull in the black cap band, reclaim. So that's one toe, we need to make three, so there's two toes, and now just one more. So double loop a yellow, 
pull on all three of these toasts. Take a ocean blue, wrap it around three times, reclaim the yellow, um, double loop a blue. This is where it's a little bit different. And slide on the foot onto the double loop blue. Now I'm gonna make another toe. So black cap band, double loop of blue, slide it on. So you have a toe and you have four loops here. Grab these two and pull them over the toe. So the toe's in between four loops, so it has two on each side. Now I'm gonna uh, take two ocean blues and it's kind of like double looping one but just with two bands. So two bands on your hook, double loop it, and get all f um, four loops onto your, uh, onto your finger and slide all this on in order and reclaim it. So here's your little back foot. You want to slide it on so that the that little back blue toe is facing towards you, like back this way. You want it to be like that on both of your feet. So the first and second leg are exactly like that. The only difference in the first and second back leg are the spots. Um, if you're making your second one right now, you shouldn't have the spots on yet. You're going to slide them on while looming. It's your first. You should have them in place already. And... Um, just loom normally over them. Um, now I'm going to tie off the ends. I'm just going to use um, a black right here and a gray right there. Um, take this off your loom. Um, so here's your back leg. I'm going to adjust the toes just like I did on the front leg and I'm just going to tug on them. I'm going to go through the toes. and tug upwards, like that. So go ahead and um, make another back leg symmetrically, and then you'll have all four legs and your head. Now we just need to make the uh, wing. So I'll show you how to make it. It's in two little parts, um, it won't be too Long. I just want to make it so you only need one loom in this project and people with one loom can make it. So with two um, jelly navies at a time, um, going down five times. And five. Now I'm going to take a navy, wrap around this peg three loops, and then I'm gonna take a navy in like this um, glitter blue, or I think it's glitter, blue cobalt glitter. So navy and a blue cobalt glitter on that peg. On that peg and on that peg and this one. Actually take off that one and then take it off that one because we're attaching spikes in certain places. So I'm gonna show you how to make a spike, or a claw. So take a black, wrap around your hook, creating four loops, double loop of black, double loop in ocean blue, pull on that, reclaim, and go in here, loom those two up, lift up all four loops, and slide on, oh, that needs to go back on that peg. Shouldn't come off. And 
um, slide on the spike, replace all four loops onto the peg, and then I'm going to lift up the top two loops and then replace these two loose bands, the navy and the blue cobalt glitter, and then replace the two loops. Loom up once normally, and then we're going to do the same thing, making the spike and attaching it on. So the spike is exactly the same as the other one. Looming up, lifting up all four, sliding on this uh, claw, lifting up two, and putting the two bands on there. Looming over up those two and I'm doing the same thing once more except we don't need to add two loose bands again um, so I'm making a claw slide on the spike. So I'm going to tie off this end with a random colored band and then I'm going to take this off the loom. So it should look like this and um, so there's the spikes are facing, um, make it so the spikes are facing towards you. These loose bands you want to pull them out facing the opposite way of these spikes. So it should look like this. So now we're going to go into the main part of the wing. So with our ocean blue going down 10 times with two bands at a time. and then I'm going to take uh, three yellow bands, make a cap band, or one yellow band, make a cap band, slide it on the first um, two loops, reclaim, make another yellow cap band, lift up, slide on, reclaim, and then same thing one more time. Now I'm going to go, let me see my wing, I'm going to go with the blue cobalt glitter twice, so here's once, and there's twice, then I'm going to go with blue cobalt glitter and a navy right there, and go with blue cobalt glitter into navy again, going diagonally inwards like that, and then two blue cobalt glitters going down like that, and then uh, the navy and then the blue cobalt diagonally downwards, and then blue cobalt glitter two at a time, or I'm going to go with uh, blue cobalt and navy right there, and then this row is pretty much um, two at a time of the blue glitter cobalt or whatever it's called. Oh, this one I'm gonna make it a, a blue cobalt glitter and a navy right there. And I'm just going to go to there. And now I'm going to go with a blue cobalt glitter and a navy all the way down this, or not all the way down this row. You want, um, want to go down five times. So there's one, there's two, there's three, four. And five, 
now taking a blue co now this two going there and then two blue cobalt glitters going diagonally upwards like that now we're going to take this little piece that we made earlier and take the cap band with those three loops of navy and I'm going to put it onto this peg and then take the end with the tying band, go through all four loops, take off the tying band, and put it all the way down onto that peg. And so we have all these loose bands, so grab these two that are right here, lift them up over those two pegs, these two go in there. these two there and then those there. Now I'm going to double loop uh, blue cobalt right there and then I'm going to do another right here and now we're going to do some more holding bands that are Oh yeah, two blue cobalt glitter across those three. And now I'm going to take a ocean blue, um, and then we're going to double loop it across all these top pegs, wrapping it around them first. And stretching it across those two. I'm now taking a black double loop and a double loop of black, double loop another black, and double loop a um, ocean blue. And I'm putting this claw onto that peg. And now just follow what I do. Move that diagonal. And I'm looming up once, twice, three times, four times. Um, so you loom up to this peg, go to the next peg, lift up these holding bands, put them onto this peg temporarily, make another claw, the exact same as this one. So black cap band, double loop of black, double loop another black, and double loop a blue ocean, or ocean blue, and I'm gonna loom up, lift up all four loops, slide this on, reclaim, lift up the top two, put on that Double loop band, reclaim it, loom up once, twice. Now we're gonna make some more of these uh, uh, cap bands. So with the yellow, wrap it around four times. Loom up, slide on. Make another, loom up slide on and over and I'm gonna make one more loom up slide on loom over now I'm gonna like loom up the rest of this wing so loom that diagonal I can loom up this row almost all the way I'm gonna stop right there. Go to over here where I loomed to. I'm looming this diagonal. 
diagonal. Go back here where I loomed up to. Loom up those two. I'm gonna loom up. Oh, a band broke. That's not good. I'm gonna loom up to there. I'm gonna loom up to there. There and there. I'm gonna take two navies, go into this peg, um, pull them through onto your hook, and I'm just going to tie this off with a random band. I'm going to tie off the rest of the ends. I'm going to generally take this off of my limb. Um, so here's your wing. You just want to add some wing veins. You need to make three. I'll show you how to make one. So go into this little gap under that top um, claw. Take two ocean blues, pull them through, reclaim on in between the first uh, row or the between the second and third row. Take two more, pull them through, um, reclaim between the third and fourth row, and then take one ocean blue, pull it through, and then go into the first double loop set of the um, claw, it's the ocean blue set, grab the other end, pull it through, and wrap that end around the claw. So there's one wing vein. Do it again from here to here and here to here. I'm gonna do it off camera, but by the end of this video, it was really long, sorry about that. Um, you should have, or go ahead and make another wing exactly the same. It doesn't have to be symmetrical because you can just bend it the other way. Two wings, I'll finish this one off camera. Two. Um, back legs. Forgot to bend the knee on this one. Um, yeah, just whatever. Two back legs, two front legs, and then the head. Um, there's the dragon. Um, in the next part, part two, we're going to be making the body, and, and then three will make the belly, and they'll be finished. So thanks for watching. Hope yours is coming out um, pretty good. And see you in part, or I guess you'll see me in part two. You'll see my hands. Um, so bye. Thanks for watching.